Okay, hello, welcome back to part two of the Bismarck 1700 build by Flyhawk. And uh, in this video, we're up to the main turrets. Um, there's one that has to be built separately from the other four. But I thought I'd just show you here with our new camera view that the um, there's our um, barrels for the turret there. And what I've done is I'm using uh, just a little bit of blue tack to hold it in place, makes it freeze up a hand, makes it a little bit easier. And I've cut off uh, the plastic part of the barrel there, so we don't need that. And here we have our one to replace it. Now what I've done is I just sit that in there, so I'll take that out. Um, so this is where it was the plastic bit was cut off. Then I used a 0.5 mil drill bit and drilled just a tiniest little hole with indentation just in the end there, um, which fits uh, this barrel in perfectly. If I can show you, it's probably easier if I hold it. So the barrel has a little nub on the end to make it easier, and that just checking the make sure it sits flush and it does so that that's fine so what I'll do then is um, take this piece I'm going to place it where it belongs in the turret like that I'll glue it in I'll do the other side and glue it in and then I'll come back put a bit of glue on here sit that in there and then I'll line it up with the one next to it and get them into the position that I want them in um, because it's a lot easier to do it when they're side by side and you can see your angles are correct and it's at the right height and so forth and the right distances apart so that's the easiest way of doing those um, other than that uh, I haven't done much I did drill the hole in the deck that that was required so there's two tiny little holes just in there one in each side there and for some reason they wanted a hole drilled in the side there on each side so i've done that no idea what that's for but i'm sure there's a reason and i know the holes blocked up but there was that little triangular piece that goes inside the front of the hole I've just glued that piece in so that won't get lost or misplaced anywhere. Okay, so I'll um, I'll continue on and finish um, these three turrets. The only difference between them is that um, this one has covers. Oh, lose that. There we go. This one has covers on the side here that are closed, whereas the other three turrets have uh, the pieces sitting off them. So, just to make, so I keep those separate. Okay, so I'll be back shortly. Okay, welcome back. So, the turrets are done. There they are, all together with their brass barrels on them. Looking really nice. And uh, they're going to put away these into my little box with their little label on them marked step two. The other turrets are in there from step one and they'll get put aside. And now things get a little bit more detailed. I'll switch to the overhead camera and we'll have a look at exactly what I mean. Okay. Okay, that's better we can see what's going on. So. So the next step in the instructions is to start with this main superstructure here that sits on the on the deck and on that goes some anti-aircraft guns. Amongst those anti-aircraft guns are eight. There's eight here and four. So there's 12 of them. Now if I build them going by the kit, they just there's three pieces make up the gun you just glue three pieces together 
and they're done. But if we do it with our upgrade set of, of photo etch, <laughs> it's not three pieces. Um, one of the set of guns, which I have to do uh, four of, uh, sorry, I have to do eight of, is this here. So all these pieces make up that gun. So we're looking at about 15 pieces there. And I have to make eight of them. The other gun is this one. And I would say there's nearly twice as many pieces. And I have to make four of those. So that is going to be time consuming con considering that every one of these guns could probably how many are there there's eight 12 of these guns could probably sit on my thumbnail yeah so so i'm not right in the mood for that at the moment so i've jumped ahead a little bit still on the same step and i'm looking at the actual um so so I'm looking at the platform that these guns sit on, which is this. And I am just thought, well, I'll just check what photo etch needs to go on this. Um, so looking at the instructions, there's just a few little things that go on top, which I can't really do because there's some wood decking needs to go in there. There's a little bit of wood decking will need to go on there. So that'll have to go first, which means this would have to be painted before I put the wood decking on there. Or I could mask it off. We'll see. Anyway, um, other than that, there's a few pieces that go in here. So funnels and ventilation system pieces to go in around here. And uh, and a couple of pieces that sit on the edge. And that's, that's pretty much it for this. But, of course, photo etch. So if we go to the photo etch upgrade kit and look at the same piece which is here we have dozens of pieces that need to go on there's there's strips that go inside these areas here which replace the walls that are there with more detail we've got a large piece that goes across the bottom here and these ends get cut off and replaced with photo etch there's um, railings that go on uh, these sections here there's also if you can probably I'm on the wrong camera for this but if you look underneath here where these struts are you'll see that they have supports under the platforms already on the kit which is really good because some kits don't don't include those Let's see if I get that to focus so underneath there you'll see there's see the supports there right well they have to be cut off and replaced with photo etch that look exactly the same exactly the same as what's there so whether i will do that or not i don't know but that would save me another 20 pieces to put on <laughs> um there's also the railings there's all the railings to go on around on here as well so anyway i'm going to start doing some of the little pieces around the outside of this and things that I can put on there uh, that won't get in the way of the decking piece that needs to go on there. Um, this I've discovered is a, a really, really complicated kit. <laughs> and it's going to take me a long time. If you think this is going to get done in a few weeks, no chance. This, this is literally, this will be a few months, I'm sure depending on how much of this photo which I use and I do want to use as much as I can all right uh, because I did the Shan horse which was a 1 700 scale by fly hawk and it was the upgrade um, deluxe kit as well but it had nowhere near the amount of photo which that this one does and that's the big difference between the two uh, much much more photo etch on this all right we'll be back shortly and we'll we'll 
come back in when I've done a bit more bit of progress on this uh, bit of superstructure here and psych myself up to start working on those guns. Yeah, we're definitely, um, I won't bore you with that. We'll look at putting one together, but we're not going to go through the whole lot. <laughs> All right, back shortly. Okay, hello, welcome back. So I'm making some progress on this superstructure base here with the photo etch, which is extremely small. Um, and we can have a look here, I'll bring it up. So those edges, railings, I had to put on. Um, and those sections inside there that put a bit more detail to what's really already there. So I put those on. And it's um, pretty tricky. Um, those railings there, you bend them up over the platform. And what I find easiest is to you first bend it up and then you've got to create the curve. But it's very thin, so what you can do is you just hold it with a pair of tweezers and just bend it around so you've got the shape you want. And then just glue in one, one end at a time. So when you've got the position, just touch it with the glue, bring it back, touch it with the other end of the glue, and then uh, it's fine. Um, these here also have stairways. I don't know if that's going to ever connect. So these two uh, railings around the top of some stairs that go between the decks. Um, very, very tiny. I'll put a photo up. It's probably the best way to look at it. Um, so it's fine. I've still got all the railings still to go all around this whole piece um, yet to go on, which I'll put on um, because this whole piece needs to be undercoated. The only wooden decking that I have to put down on here will be on this section here. So that's fine. So what I'll do is I'll do the, this is a darker gray on the base. So I'll do the dark gray. I'll spray from the top down. It's no problem. Around the side will be the lighter grey of the ship. So what I will do for that is just turn it at an angle and just spray it that way. So as I won't get anything on the deck and I won't have to bother trying to tape anything up. Um, I'll just cover that section down where, well I won't even need to. It'll just be covered, undercoat the whole thing as it is and then that section will be just be the darker grey that isn't going to be wood grain. So that's the plan. Um, what I did have to do is because this photo etch is so small and I need to put the glue down is that my little glue applicator is not little enough. <laughs> so what I had to do was bring a smaller version which is a tiny little bit of copper wire. See that? And now I can dab the glue and apply it with this smaller amount. Just wipe that in the join where I want it. That works a lot better for those tiny little spots on the railing. You just want to touch it. Um, another tip is that you've got to get it the first time. If you're mucking around and trying to get it straight and fiddling around and trying to get it right and then you think, oh, this is not happening. Then you go get some more glue and you try and dab some more glue, you'll make it worse because super glue, CA glue, does not stick to CA glue. So if you've got glue that you've already put down and it and you couldn't just it wouldn't just position, it wouldn't stick down. So you go to apply more glue, then you're gonna have a problem because it's just not gonna stick. And you'll have to remove all that glue completely and start again and doing that on this scale removing glue off pieces is really really hard without bending and damaging it so the best thing to do is take it really slow and just touch the smallest point and once that's glued in spot then move on further down the rail and just touch that little piece so 
because you want these to stick instantly. Now, for other railings like around here where I'll, I'll bend them into the shape I want because they're squared off, they're not curved. At least I don't think they are. They might be a bit curved in there. But ones that I can get the shape and I know they've just got to sit down there and glue and you don't have to manipulate it all, then I'll use my Ultra Glue, which is Photo Etch Metal Glue because this sets slower and it gives you time to move things around. Whereas when you want an instant set, then you've got to go with your CA glue. Do that. All right. So um, uh, also, I've I did try to use these uh, little glue applicators, um, but I found that. Well, I haven't really given it a big go yet. I've tried it once. I've tried to use this once. Um, when I put the glue on there, it just stays on there. When I go to touch it to where I want it to go, like it's supposed to, you know, an applicator, it's supposed to, you put the glue on the end and then you touch it where you want it to go. Well, it doesn't go anywhere. It just stays on the end of this. It dries, go, goes hard, and I've got to burn it off. So... Maybe it's not made for CA glue that's... Well, this is quite thin. I mean, this is almost the cons consistency of, well, you know, water almost. Not quite like CA, like normal glue cement and that, but it's very thin CA glue, and it just won't run off this. If I touch this on the glue and then go to put it where I want the, the glue to be on the part, it doesn't come off here. So maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't know, but I'll I'll try them again um, later. But you know, maybe they're better more for the Tamiya cement um, when you want something that applies smaller than the brush that it comes with. I think that would work. But for CA glue application, yeah, it, I can't get it to run off it. Um, anyway. We'll back shortly when I've done all the railings on the top of this. Okay, welcome back. I thought I'd just come in and show you I've um, undercoated the superstructure piece here. It's all got all the photo etch, all the railing and everything on it. So I did that a couple of hours ago. That's all dry now. So what I'm going to do is just um, this half here around the outside needs to be uh, a dark gray that's where all the walking areas of the platform is so what i'll do is i'll just cover this piece here with a bit of paper or something just to block it and i'll spray that the gray uh, when that's dry although probably don't have to wait till it's dry um, i need to paint this part a light gray which is the sides of the superstructure which will also be all this will be light gray along here all the way around in here so what i've done that'll be the black that are the dark gray up on top and then i'll hit it at an angle and get all this here with the light gray all the way around because everything's on there that i need and this part here only needs the light uh, the grey on the bottom of where that turret will be so I'll give that a spray not too concerned about in here because that is where the wood decking will be so um, and now that I think about it I will have to spray that light grey because there's some splinter shields there where there's going to be some guns and they have to be that grey so I'll be doing that the grey as well and then when it all dries, I'll be able to put the deck down on there and then finish the railing on the sides where the deck is. I'll have to hand paint that railing because um, I don't want to put the railing on and then try to put the decking down without knocking that railing off. It'd be pretty hard. So I'll, have, I'll be hand painting the railing just on those sections there. Okay, um, in the meantime, I've got one of these eight guns made. Uh, it's in there. You probably won't be able to see it. It is so small. I'll throw a photo up. You can have a look at it. <laughs> and uh, I've got another seven of those to go. 
and then there's another four guns. Um, there's no rush on these guns because all these guns are going to go on here and other places on the ship, but that won't be till way, way later on. So I'm just doing the guns a little bit here and there as I feel like it <laughs> because it's pretty um, tough on the eyes and, and, every, and everything trying to get such a small thing uh things built and um i just go back to it and then go back and work on something else all right so we'll be back shortly with uh another update where i'm at okay hello welcome back so um it's actually been about three days since i recorded the last bit a second ago and uh most of that was because of these little guns, which you'll see here. There's eight of them. I'll put a photo up because that's the only way you're going to see just how small these things are. So I'll put a photo up there. So I put together those eight. Uh, it was a struggle. Uh, each gun had uh, one, two, three, four, five pieces to it. So once you made up and bent those five pieces, then they all got... Um, glued onto the main gun itself and that was the result so i had to make eight of those um the next step in the instructions that to focus um will be another four guns of a different type now the issue with the photo edge instructions is that even though they show yeah all your guns to make they don't tell you which ones they are so the one i just made i did make because i know there were eight of them on the on the photo etch fret so i knew that was that gun because these photo etch guns bear very little resemblance to the kit ones <laughs> uh, probably due to the extra detail on them but it does make it a little bit difficult so there's another gun here, which I did find out is not until step eight. And that looks like, like a submachine gun that sits up on deck that one person would operate. Um, so that I found in step eight. And there's another larger looking gun here with four barrels on it. And I found that in step six. So I'll make those in step six. The four guns that I have to make now look like they're going to be this one here only because I know there's four of them on the fret. Um, and But I can tell you that looks nothing like the gun that's in the kit. So I'll go and find some footage of the ship and get some detail and see if I can find which one looks close to what it is actually there. In which case I may not use the photo etch, I might just use the kit piece. Which will save me a hell of a lot of time and going a little bit more blinder <laughs> uh, now what I also did between putting those together was I completed uh, that deck um, structure base here so see that so it's all painted up now that's the color for the deck there then I've put down the wooden deck on this area, and then I put the railing on, which needs to still be painted. So you can see the painting. I'll hand paint the railing on that. Uh, the, the sides are all painted the, the grey I want it. And uh, we saw all this just before, so that's all complete now. Uh, as soon as I touch up those uh, little railings on there. So I'm happy with the way that came out. So now I'll be going ahead and just double checking on the extra um, four guns there. Uh, that means, and there's a couple of little pieces that go on top of that wood deck that I've put down, um, which I'll hand paint and drop those on, and that will be completely done then. And then we move over, still on step four, where there's another piece of super, there's a piece of superstructure there uh, that needs to be put together and there's a few pieces to go down on that and I'm pretty sure a ton of photo itch 
So that will be in the next video because this one's getting on to the half hour or so, or probably longer. So we'll, we'll do that. We'll see that in the next video, which will be part uh, three. So um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button if you like the video and comment below. If you've got any comments, uh, tips and suggestions, whatever. And uh, yeah, all being well. <laughs> I'll see you in the next part, part three. Bye for now.